What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today I wanted to talk about the American Silver Eagle. Not necessarily about the Type 1 or the Type 2, but about both of them. More specifically, I wanted to talk about the sellability of the American Silver Eagle and some concerns that I have as we continue on over the next couple of years. We're gonna get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. Come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club for giveaways, live streams, deal alerts, and a whole lot more. And of course, make sure to go and get your up to 12 free fractional shares by downloading Weeble and funding your account. For every friend you refer, Weeble's gonna give you all the way up to 100 free fractional shares of some of the most rock solid companies on the planet. Everything will be linked in the description. So today is Monday, August 8th, 2022. It's about 6.45 in the morning. Been up since 4 a.m. taking care of a whole bunch of stuff and this is actually the third video back to back that I'm filming. So being that I'm already exhausted for the day and I don't want to lose my voice, <laughs> That's where G Fuel is going to help me out. Peach ring flavored, sugar free, super low calorie, packed with a bunch of vitamins, gives you that clean energy feel, doesn't get you all wired out and crazy, makes you feel good and focused, and it wakes you up without making you feel all wired out. If you want $5 off your first G Fuel purchase, I'm not sponsored, but I do have a coupon code for you that I will leave linked in the description with everything else. Okay, so. Today, I wanted to talk about a couple of different things regarding the American Silver Eagle. I know I said in the intro, I didn't really want to focus too much on either particular coin, but now that we have the Type 1 and the Type 2, I do have a couple of concerns moving forward, and this video is not going to be overly structured. All I knew is that this is what I wanted to talk about in this video. So here we go. The American Silver Eagle. The beloved Silver Eagle. Whether you like the design change or not, Silver Eagle is the Silver Eagle. And when it comes to, you know, premiums and whatnot, obviously it has turned into a high premium coin, which I'm not a fan of, but I still love the coin regardless. But regar either way, though. One of the reasons Silver Eagles have always been such a dominant coin in the first place was because of its ability to be recognized. Everyone knows the Silver Eagle. Everyone loves the Silver Eagle. Everyone stacks the Silver Eagle. Everyone trusts, respects, and is looking for the Silver Eagle to stack. But last year, the design was changed. And obviously, even when things in life get changed for the better, I'm not the biggest fan of change. I don't like adapting to change. It's just, I like things the way that they are. So even if you improve something, I, I'm still a little bit annoyed at it at the very beginning. And then I learn to love it. But I don't really like change, at least in the very beginning. This, on the other hand, was something that I knew. I was like, oh my god. Not only... Am I not a fan of change? Uh, this is something that I... It's a downgrade for me. I, I didn't like the design change. I think they could have done a whole better, a much better job. Uh, in fact, I didn't, I didn't think they needed to change the design at all. I think they just needed to add something to it for a layer of security. But we're not going to go down that route. We've talked enough about that for the last two years. Obviously, complaining doesn't change it back to the Type 1 design. So, you know, let's... Let's, let's save our energy and put it towards something a little bit more useful. But either way, one of the big concerns that I had was the fact that the Silver Eagle is so dominant in the first place because of its ability to be recognized. And its ability to be recognized depends on what the coin looks like, what people see when they look at the coin. Now you're changing the design. Now you're changing what people see when they look at it. You removed its ability to be recognized, at least on the obverse. 
or the reverse rather. Either way though, that was one of the initial concerns that I had regarding the design change. And I'm really curious how the coin's going to hold up over the next few years because the design change was launched just last year in 2021, halfway through the year, I believe, if memory serves me right, which was kind of a cheat year, if you ask me, because I'm sure all the hype and excitement and all the headlines regarding the design change and, and whatnot, you know, essentially turning it into a new coin, if you think about it, all of that. I believe played a massive role in Silver Eagle sales last year and potentially this year as well. Especially last year, we saw all the all the people talking about it. See, here's the thing. That that's a perfect example of, you know how they say all press is good press? That's not true, but it is when it comes to stuff like this. It's called outrage marketing people make things go viral because they don't want you to support it. They'll put, they'll plaster it all over the place. They'll be like, oh, I hate this coin. It looks so ugly, blah, 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 blah. I'm never stacking the Silver Eagle. Meanwhile, you're, you're giving the Mint tons and tons and tons of free advertising. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there who didn't even know that stacking Silver was a thing until some of us started blasting out how much we didn't like the design change. But either way, I think all of that hype and excitement, and by the way, I know probably 50% of the people love the design change. I know some people were waiting for a design change. Some people were like, hey, something new, something fresh, something different. It's almost like a whole different coin. Something different, something I've never had before. Brand new design. I don't have any other coins, rounds or bars with this design on it. I wanna get a couple of them. And guess what? Even though I wasn't a fan of the design, I had to go and get a, a few. And I think a lot of people can probably say the same. Premiums were higher, so I wasn't even stacking Silver Eagles anymore. The design was a downgrade in my opinion, so I, I, I didn't really like the way that it looked. I still got a handful anyway, mainly just because I knew I can get a whole bunch of videos out of it. It's more of a video prop than anything else. I'm not stacking them, but I picked up a few. But that was 2021. That's when everything was brand new. That's when the new design was officially launched. I'm very curious what sales will look like at the end of 2022 or future years moving forward. Now that the new design isn't so new anymore. Now that this coin right here that I have in my pocket. Wrong coin. Now that this coin right here, this new design, it's not, it's not the, this isn't the new Silver Eagle anymore. This is the newer version of the Silver Eagle. You know, things like this are relatively short lived. You know, it's, it's old news now. No one really cares anymore. I made plenty of videos before the design was even released. We didn't even know what it was going to look like. I was making a bunch of videos about how I didn't want them to change it. And then when we finally got the design, I was making videos about how I didn't like the design. And a lot of people were doing the same. A lot of people were commenting on it, agreeing with me. Then when I finally got a handful of them, I, I did an unboxing video. I... I I did a review video. I did the new security feature under a microscope video. I did all these things. But at this point, it's kind of old news. We're not really talking about it anymore. We've kind of just accepted the fact like, yeah, yeah, they changed the design. Oh, well, on to something else. See, at first there was a lot of frustration for whatever reason. I wasn't all that frustrated, by the way. I just didn't like the design and, and it, I, didn't really think it was the smartest idea to change the design of something that is so unbelievably recognizable and dominant in the silver stacking world. I didn't think it was a very smart idea and I don't really enjoy change. That, that was my only issue with it. I wasn't, you know, stomping my feet about it or anything like that. But anyway, 2021 Silver Eagle sales, 
did very good. 2022, we haven't got to the end of the year yet, so we don't know. We don't have a clue. And that's what I wanted to just mention. I wanted to start thinking about it ahead of time. I wanted to know if anybody else is wondering the same thing. Silver Eagle sales for 2022. Now that the Type 2 Silver Eagle is kind of, kind of, it's kind of old news now. People aren't so hyped up and excited about it anymore. Are, are, are we still seeing the same number of people or, or, or more people stacking the Silver Eagle, especially considering that they're still carrying a higher premium than a lot of the other coins out there? Maple Leafs, Britannia's, Philharmonics, you can get those same amount of silver for a significantly lower premium. Have people moved on from the Silver Eagle? Was 2021 just the year of excitement? Something new, something different, something fresh? Let me get one just for fun. Let me get one just to see what it looks like in person. Let me just let, let me stack a few just to just to add weight to the stack. Was that the case? Or are people continuing to stack the Silver Eagle? Will people continue to stack the Silver Eagle as though nothing changed? That's what I want to know. That's what I'm thinking about. That's what we're brainstorming about in this video right here. I wonder if sales will remain the same or preferably improve over time with the new design. Or if people, the general consensus is kind of aligning with my thoughts, kind of concerned regarding the, the ability to be recognized. Therefore, they're moving on to something that is obviously still just as recognizable as it was two, three, four, ten years back. Maple Leafs, Britannia's, etc., etc., etc. I don't know. Again, as I said at the beginning of the video, this isn't going to be overly structured. I'm kind of just thinking out loud over here, but I knew it was something that I wanted to talk about, and I haven't really made a video lasering in or dialing in on the Silver Eagle or the design change in quite a bit of time. So, coming around full circle, I'm very curious about the Silver Eagle sellability. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. If you guys like today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Go and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel in the biggest possible way. Come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club for giveaways, live streams, deal alerts, and a whole lot more. I guarantee you it's worth it. And of course, make sure to go and get your up to 12 free fractional shares by downloading Weeble and funding your account. You could deposit as little as you'd like even as little as a penny. It still works, it still counts. You still get your up to 12 free fractional shares. And for every friend you refer to the app, Weeble's gonna give you all the way up to 100 free fractional shares of some of the most rock solid companies on the planet. Coca-Cola, Ford, the list goes on. You're guaranteed at least 15. Maybe you'll get 35, maybe you'll get 50, or maybe you'll get 100. You're winning no matter what. And you can do this 10 times. For 10 friends to the app, you have the opportunity to win all the way up to 1,000 free fractional shares. Don't pass up on an opportunity. We will link in the description. Time is running out. If you don't want the stocks, go and get them anyway. They're free, why would you not? Then just sell them, congratulations. Now you have the cash to go and get you some, I don't know, silver eagles if that's what you want. We will link in the description. Time is running out. And of course, last but certainly not least, if anybody wants to try some G Fuel, they have like 50 different flavors to choose from. This is the Peach Rings one. Absolutely delicious. I've tried probably 10 to 15 of their flavors. Unbelievable. Sugar-free, super low calorie, packed with a ton of vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. And it gives you that clean energy feel. It doesn't get you all wired out and crazy feeling like you're having a heart attack or, or anything like that. Makes you feel good, makes you feel focused, improves your stamina, your reaction speeds, I love it. If you want to try it, $5 off your first purchase by clicking the link in the description. I'm not sponsored. It's just a coupon code. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. When it comes to Silver Eagle sellability, are you concerned? Is this something that no longer even matters to you anymore? I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't matter to me. The only reason I'm making this video is just because it was something to talk about. 
I've moved on from the Silver Eagle. I haven't stacked Silver Eagles since February of 2020. I picked up just a handful of the Type 2s just to have them. I haven't picked up a Silver Eagle since, and I haven't, and I decided not to stack them back in early 2020. So, so I'm not concerned about Silver Eagles anymore. I've moved on. Doesn't really matter. I'm onto bigger and better things now, I like to believe. But it doesn't mean I can't address a concern or hopefully initiate a conversation. So let me know anything and everything related to today's videos happening in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace!